Hello, I'm lost, and this is Stellaris. Uh, I started a game of Stellaris a while back, and apparently I deleted the save. So, I'm starting over. Um, the videos I had are on YouTube still, so you can see what I did before and see some of the explanation. I have started off a new race. I am some sort of bug people. Let's actually look at my stats. I am a collectivist, which I did because I want the suppression cost and the food consumption. Militarist, because I want the war happiness damage. I don't care about the rivalry game gain, I won't really use it. And I did materialist for the research, because I want the research bonus. Uh, the building cost minus is nice, but not really my thing. I'm huge into research, and I'm huge into expansion. Now, one of the things you'll notice, it is a big map, but at the same time, if you've played before, you'll see that I have 10 base colonies for my empire. Uh, what that means is I can build more colonies before I have to parcel them out into sectors. This is a mod. There are a few mods in here. One of the most obvious you will see is that I am using Star Wars ships. Another one of the mods is, again, ship-related. Uh, Corvette. I have expanded hull options, so I can do more things with the hulls and perhaps create ships that I find more useful. Uh, the last one that I have is, I believe I'm running the 1080p user interface, which makes the user interface fit a lot more nicely. Um, I think that's... Oh, I have the civilian trade mod. That's the only other one I have running. So, my empire is using warp. We like deserts, I think. Yes, deserts. So I'm going to be going out for deserts. Uh, I've got him running around to do surveying. We're going to pop out two more science ships because I want to get out there quickly. Do the mining networks for the resources. Uh, we'll do the power hubs. Alright, I have no influence modifiers. If I had a tech that would give me an influence modifier, I would take that over the colony ship. But I don't have it, so colony ship. Okay, and that's it. We are ready to start going. So let's kick the speed up and let's move. Now, as soon as that science ship comes up, I'm going to have to assign it a researcher and get it out and moving. Um, you, you're cheap. And... Go there. I know I can colonize it, so let's go. Construction complete. Alright, that means my other one is ready. That's good enough. Can you jump a little further out? Situation Situation updated. Alpha aliens. It's fine. They are non hostile. Anomaly found. Let's see exactly what well, they're moving now. I can't see what they are. Okay. Situation log updated. That will be one of the precursor races. If I'm right, yes, precursors. I don't know that it will actually do anything for me. And that's something I really should look up at some point. But not today. Maybe next time I will have looked up what it is. System survey Alien vessel situation log well, update. Those guys are hostile. Let's see what they are. What are you? Ah, uh, yes, space amoebas. You will at least run. You will at least walk away. You won't try and hunt me down. So there are two ways you can build System in Stellaris. Complete. You can build up with a very limited number of worlds that are really efficient but spread out so that you claim a large area and lots of mines. System survey complete. Or you can build out where you have a large number of colonies and maybe fewer mines or maybe just many, but anomaly found. I tend to build out and not build as many mines early game, and then late game I will add more mines. 
Well, one good world, one halfway decent world. Let's see what they have ability is and if we've got Situation anything special going updated. On. Anomaly found. They're already investigating. And System survey that, complete. You are at level five. Hmm, lucky find. Okay. Why is zero habitability? It's just resources. Whatever. Alright, keep going. System survey. I really should read some of these things. Found. But I get impatient and they pop up so many. And so few of them actually mean anything. System survey complete. Alright. Arid is still Anomaly found. theoretically habitable. Situation it's nice that I'm updated. finding all of these Eurasian things early. I really should clear off some of the surface. System survey mine. complete. We'll give you a mine. And we'll clear this so we can stick somebody there for food. We have proto civilization. Probably on one of the worlds I want. Stone Age primitives. System survey world. complete. Yeah, we'll deal. Ooh, Arrakis. And Arrakis has an arid world. Two arid worlds. I'm going to name one of them Dune. It, it has to be a thing. Just has to be. I may even colonize one of them first. System survey complete. I did set the habitable worlds to 500%, and that is Anomaly one of the reasons you're seeing all of these worlds so early on. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Right. Keep exploring. System survey complete. Situation log updated. updated. Evading hostile Alien vessel Situation encountered. Situation log updated. Alien Situation log updated. Encountered. Okay. Evading Runaway. hostile fleet. Situation log updated. That's fine. We can work around it. Not a big deal. Okay. It's like it's the end of the world because we found aliens who were hostile. Anomaly found. That is going to be a mining fleet. That I can't identify without being closer. Let's see. Ah, crystals. Okay. Still nothing special. Anomaly found. Two months. One month. Research complete. Situation log Let's updated. Pause. Let's grab that. See, I don't want either of those. Those don't serve a purpose in my empire. Now that growth time. 
growth time is almost more important to me than, than the hydroponics farms. Alright, we're gonna go with growth time. Oh, and let's see what the surface looks like. Good. Spaceport. Kick out some colony ships. Now, I said I was going to colonize Arrakis first, so that's what I'm going to do. Anomaly found. System survey complete. System survey complete. Now, I have a friend who leaves all of these anomalies unexplored and goes back and gets them later. And I can see the logic behind it. Because going back and getting them later, when your scientists are... Situation log updated. When your scientists are better, could actually... will probably yield um, better results. Special project complete. Okay. Right. Alpha aliens. Let's see what they actually are. Oh, those guys. Good enough. They're generally peaceful. Anomaly found. Jeezel, that place is just full of anomalies. System survey complete. System survey complete. Evading hostile fleet. Science ship under attack. Well, damn it. That happens every so often. Sometimes you jump into a world, and there's just something there you cannot deal with. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. I've activated pirates, apparently? That's not good. One destroyer and one frigate versus three frigates. I don't like the mods. But we're gonna do it anyways. Our first colony is up. Hostile fleet engaged. Come on, guys. Yes. Situation loss awesome, updated. Um. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Oh yes, and as promised. Oh no, that's the system name. That stays. Rackus Prime becomes Dune, not Dubne. Situation log updated. Where 
where's that big colony? High gravity, that's okay. Anomaly found. Construction complete. Let's get our new scientist out. Research project and system. Then we'll survey the system. Situation log updated. Yay, my fleet's been repaired. System survey complete. Let's expand that just a bit. Special project complete. Colony established. Yay, Dune has been established. Woo! Science ship under attack, evading hostile fleet. Lost. Our science ship has disappeared. Debris analyzed. System survey complete. Okay. Good. Construction Here's complete. Special project complete. Yay, our first civilian traders are up and running. Woo! Colony established. Anomaly found. System survey complete. Who are you? Oh, that's my trade fleet. Evading hostile fleet. Man, I just cannot catch a break in the north. Just hostiles everywhere. Alright. You're gonna try this one. If that doesn't work, we're heading south. surface okay so steady you're doing fine you're doing fine research complete I could build buildings on those planets but I always get the feeling that I'm wasting my time by doing so System survey because complete. they come out as lower tier buildings than System survey I could build complete. if I waited because if once I hit population 5 here, I'll be able to upgrade this to the planetary administration. When I do that, instead of building the basic hydroponics farm, I can build the real hydroponics Anomaly farm. Found. And I'm not sure that there's any bonus to building the basic first. System survey complete. And I feel like I end up just going through and having to click a bunch of extra buttons to make it happen. System survey complete. I want the Bethlehem reactor. Anomaly found. Alright, he's going to have to start making his way up this way. Situation log updated. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Research complete. Alien Situation log updated. 
Okay, the aliens is fine. We'll do this. All right. My biggest problem with Stellaris early game system survey complete. So there really isn't much to do. A lot of this is just hurry up and wait. I tell my people to do stuff, then I have to wait for adapt. So Special I have to project. More stuff to wait for adapt. It's still fun. Ooh, nice. It's still fun. I, I enjoy this early expansion. I enjoy the exploring, but you know, there's a part of me that really wishes I could just grow up, build my empire up a little bit faster. Here's what it is, though. I'm gonna have a nice, System packed empire with a lot of worlds. All right, but we're gonna call it a quits for now. We will pick this up again later. Until then, happy gaming, and good luck in your own wars.